Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with episode 4 of the Total War Three Kingdoms Similiang uh, Let's Play. So in the last episode you've seen as we had a big battle, as we started off a big battle against uh, Sima Wei. And then throughout the episode we took chunks out of his uh, out of his domain and added it to our own and then vassalized him. Um, which is very nice. So now we have uh, this situation going on. So you can see uh, Cao Huan... Sima Wei, Bai Jin, Ruan Shen, Song Wei. Oh, not Ruan Shen, sorry, he's across the river. But are all my vassals, and then I have a nice uh, coalition defending my uh, my underbelly, basically, here, which is cool. Um, so yeah, basically now, we get to expand north, or even uh, west if we wanted to. Which actually we could. Oh, that's the Jin. I could... No, I'm already at 8. So we kind of need to get our jurisdiction up to substantial before we can continue on. Um, with fighting, that is. Because we're already at the max 8, if my counting was correct from last episode, which I'm pretty sure it was. Um, but that's fine, because we're, we're getting 10 a turn, and we could, focus, we could try to focus on getting it even higher. And then we'll be able to uh, start expanding again. But let's see, for the time being... Oh! That ain't too bad, but... I have two Jade Archers. Oh! Tradable if unequipped. Sorry, they're both equipped. That was kind of silly. Oh, that's really good. I don't want to trade that away. And both of those are really good as well. So I could just get him as a vassal. But it would eat up my, uh, my money quite a lot. So we, we can wait. No, I really. I have two more trade partners that I could uh, I could have, but no one else is uh, free. See, I'm not really sure where I want to go right now. Um, I suppose just for the just for ease of moving around later, I could bring uh, Sima Zhu to Zhang Yang so that if anybody declares war on us, he'll be able to react. But I don't think anybody will because we do have some very nice. Uh, relations with everybody. Sima Wei doesn't like us very much, but it's going up. But, like, look at all the happy people. Very nice. But I'm sure some people will get upset with us as we, uh, as our jurisdiction goes up and we declare war on more people so that we actually have more land. What are the Jin doing? They must have been moving. Is this on? Oh, it is on fast. Okay. You don't need to worry about it. Sima D. I was thinking of uh, vassalizing you, so sure, I'll take your money. That's money I can. That's money I can spend on vassalizing you, I guess. Uh, Sima Ying created his military alliance. Okay, that's all that happened. Okay. Oh. He's on the maybe uh, scale again. I kind of want to focus on Sima D, though. Oh, it's actually harder now. Jesus Christ. It's because we got a lot more money. He's, he doesn't feel so bad for us, I suppose. Uh, I don't really want to spend that. That much. Who's, who's Zhu Yan? This guy. See, I don't want Sima Wei to get any stronger because I don't want him to rebel and really screw me over. So I don't really want him to. I don't want to go to war with these people and let my vassals eat them, because I would much rather if uh, he didn't get any more powerful. But yeah, that's a lot of money for right now when I could actually focus on building stuff. Like for example, in Runan. Oh, we already have the judiciary here. So never mind. I don't even have to worry about that. We're making a nice bit of industry money. So it would be nice if we could get that up. But that's a lot of levels just to get there. Oh, we can't even get this one here yet anyway. 
because I need a... Oh, we already have it! Okay. Whoops. But only 5% only is getting to my industry. That's strange. Hmm. Yeah, it's only getting that 5%. Very strange. But yeah, my plan for this slot was to build a judiciary, but I already have one there. So. This wouldn't be too bad to speed up. Well, it actually speeds it up quite, quite nicely as well. And it's weird that the case of the misting industry, apparently. Oh, the blacksmith just puts up your income from industry. Okay, nice, nice. But it's only 20%. And, you know, that's that would be if we wanted this to be a recruitment province, which it's more than likely not going to be. So I'm not really sure what to do with this. Like, I don't need any of this stuff. I mean, putting up the food production could be nice, but... We might just go labor and try to get to that eventually. And other news, I could upgrade that to get a little bit more industry. Why not? Yeah, why not? That'll make us a little bit of extra money. Not much, but just enough. See, I can't quite tell. We're at 212, and we're like halfway to substantial. I wish it just said how much you needed, but we can't see it um, in numbers. But it shouldn't be too much longer before we get there. That's going to be very nice. We're also 120, 124 away from uh, Grand Prince, so that's cool. Alright, I think that's another turn that we could just end. Uh, no, damn it. So what was this? The military G. I suppose I could give that away. Well, I'll, I'll actually I'll take a look. How about that? Uh, the military G is the plus nine resolve. But see, I always find it, I always usually find a use for weapons, but then I always find that I have armor left over. But like that plus six resolve, plus six instinct is really good. And I should have that on somebody, I guess. Yeah, I'll give the G. And there we go, Simidi is another, uh, you better go to, you better get peace. And yeah, there we go, another vassal. And that weakens uh, Sima Ying. Cool. So now we have even more. And that'll make us even more money as well, which is nice. Alright. Uh, continue marching there. I guess Sima Liang can just stay here. We have no money to get him new units, so yeah. Oh, hello, Jin Empire Army. <laughs> what are you doing here? Sima Tay. Which one are you? Oh, you're this guy. That is a nice bit of money. I mean, I can't go to war with you yet, so I'll take it. 
就这么定了。I'll take bribes. The people come first. Your advisors recommend you serve the people, and that is what you have chosen to do. Yet the other princes of Jin see this as neglect. They insist you spend more on courtly distractions to keep them entertained. Why the hell would I care about what the other princes think? Um, so plus ten spirit, which would get us to sixty-four, or more wealth, which would get us to the second level. Uh, that seems obvious. Nice. So we're making even more money. And if we get it to the next level, we'll make more money and have a new trade agreement that we can't use. Sweet. Got some new people. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Not bad. We... We already have Simaju, though, so I don't really... <sighs> Not amazing stats. Uh, she starts with fire arrows and night battles. Oh my goodness. Why do you have so much instinct? Weird. Oh, I wish I had a vanguard with all your traits. But she does have wisdom of the river. Ooh, that's tough. Do I want do I want this lady? It's just these stats, man. I wish they were more useful. Um, well for for someone of what of what she's doing. I could recruit her. She's also only 22. God damn. Oh, goodbye, Simazong. I forgot I got rid of you. Oh, I don't have the money, but I could marry her marry her to my son. That could work. She is quite upset. I can't give you Oh, do I have this? Yeah, I have this on a um Yeah, I'll take that off. That was just to keep him happy. And he's super happy anyway. Oh, did that Oh, it took it off the wrong person. Are you kidding me? Sorry, bud. Have that back. March to there. And we'll just end the turn. Uh, Huang Jin. You want to add him to the faction? I mean, sure. Oh, he rejected. Okay. It doesn't even matter. We're still at war with that lady down south that I'm just letting my vassals fight. I don't know if they're actually even doing anything. Uh, now Huang Jin wants to pay me for not aggression even though... Oh, he didn't accept our invite though, so... Um, I mean, I don't really have any plans of coming down to attack you, so... Sure. Everybody likes us. Potential traitor, one of your courtiers has loudly and dramatically denounced one of his opponents as a spy. In private, the accused admits this fact, but begs protection. Oh. Minus 10 satisfaction. Oh, see, I don't really care about this, because I'm not even using spies. Yeah, I'll take this. Poor spy. Well, shouldn't have been one. What could I like? What? I guess I could try. Like, what? What would even be useful? I could put this new lady as a spy. Hmm. 
But I could also use this lady, because she's level 4 and she's probably going to get used. I could spy on the Jin. So it's another 1,000 to recruit her. <sighs> no, let's, let's just send her, because it's cheap. I, I just want to try, basically. I want to see what you can do. Because I don't use spies very much at all. And... Oh, excuse me. If she's uh, useless, well, then we'll just cancel it or whatever. Yes, more money, of course. I'll always take more money. Uh, and end another turn. I suppose I could go to war with someone and then uh, just sack them. You also want non-aggression. You are this guy, the va the former vassal of Simaway. Well, I'm not going to fight you, so sure. Not yet, anyway. So, I mean, I'll take the money. I will take the 1500 So, yeah, what I was saying is we could just fight someone close and then just sack and then get peace or whatever. Just to make money. Got a wooden ox. New people, I don't really care. Spy dispatched. Let's see, obviously, obviously she can't do anything yet. They have 12 trade agreements going on. Holy shit. We're definitely in the best position to strike them. Because since one army could stand here and attack the Lumberyard, and then my other could just <laughs> march to Luoyang and attack it. But we're not quite strong enough yet for that. We are getting 11 per turn. That is very nice. We're not far. And I could actually even get more. Do I have any agreements with this guy? No. So, so this guy I could actually attack and then just like sack, even though it wouldn't really be worth much. He's only a one uh, one settlement, you know, uh, minor faction, so I don't really want him in my faction, and I also don't know hmm, how small Sima Ying is. So, to win, reach the rank of Victorious Pricks, Prince, then annex or destroy. So yeah, vassalizing the other princes is not even that good because I'll have to just annex them, which will... Yeah, okay. So maybe vassalizing Sima Ying wouldn't be a good idea. Because we will have to get rid of the rest of them at some point. Uh, get that upgraded, might as well. Oh, I'm really excited to finally actually have Luo Yang. For the time being, we won't upgrade it. That's not necessary. Basically, I just need to try to get through turns as fast as possible so we can get to the next level. Which will actually be faster than I thought it would. You want us to go to war with Fan Guan. He's all the way down there. He's also quite big. Oh, never mind. He doesn't own that. Okay. But he still owns these three. And I mean, like, I am definitely not going to end up down there. You're not really that strong, bud. I don't know what you're thinking. That's a lot of money, but I'm going to have to say no. Uh, now you guys want to invite Huang Jin? Is that... Yeah, it's the same guy. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, that person's actually moving. So maybe someone will finally kill her last settlement. Oh, our spy was recruited. Good. Ooh, a couple of champions. We could use a couple of those if they're good. Well, cowardly, I already don't like that. Yep. Uh, oh, 
you don't have really good stats either. Never mind. Oh, and she's already a general. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Jin. We'll see if she's able to do anything useful for us. Alright. Yeah, this isn't going to take long at all. Cool. Oh, we're losing food again. Time to do some diplomacy. With someone who has food. You have a nice bit. Uh, give me <clears throat> two food, please. I'd rather just make payments. There we go. Thank you. So yeah, this uh, this town's definitely gonna be lost. I was hoping that my vassal would. That's why I start. I left them at war. Was I was hoping my vassal would take this stuff, but doesn't really look like he wants to. And he's also not even really building any armies. Must be very poor. No, he has some money, just no food. Who knows? But yeah, we're gonna actually be able to start expanding again very soon. No, 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 I wonder. Unfortunately, the border is close to the trade port, so I'd be walking through their territory. I don't really know if I'm in good enough of a position to go to war with the Jin yet. I know I'll definitely take some cataphracts, goddamn. It would be nice if I could just... I wonder, can I buy anything off them? Oh, yeah, I think I'll ask the Jin Empire to be my vassal. Um, no, I don't want to trade. Uh, yeah, they don't value money very much because they're, well, rich, of course. So, never mind. That wouldn't have been bad, though, if we could have just bought it. Hmm. Yeah, let's just end another turn. Uh, Ruan Chen. You were where? I have no idea. Oh, there you are. I was gonna say far away, but you're not really that far. You're within the territory of my, or next to the territory of my vassals. But I think I will take that two thousand. So we're basically just getting non-aggression with almost everyone, and they are paying quite well for it. Yeah, she expanded. I suppose I could go down there myself and then sell it to one of my vassals. That's actually not a bad idea. Hmm, maybe we'll do that. A good omen. Yeah, let's do that. That'll give us something to do and some money. And then we'll uh, make, I guess, Mao Ren happier. Because Bai Jin already owns four? Territories, yeah. We'll give some. We'll give. Uh, I could also sell it to Sean Yu to make him like me more, but he's not my vassal. So, speaking of vassals, anybody want to cooperate? Ooh, a few different people want to. Sim away is uh, not really. Yeah, like, that's a lot of stuff. Also, I can't give you that food. Yeah, so not quite. 
Uh, but who else we got? Fan Guan is this guy here. Oh, the guy that uh, Mao Ren wanted me to go to war with. Oh, you're a maybe, are you? Shit, that wouldn't even be that hard. Oh shit, okay. So you're actually you're actually gonna be super easy to vassalize. Nice. I'll take it. 440, so I'll still be making over 20 I mean I'll be making like 2400. Yeah, sure. Nice, another one. Yeah, you better get peace. Ah, excellent. So yeah, we're uh our influence is far reaching now. All the way down to the southern coast almost. Nice. So if I uh, strengthen Mao Ren, we'll have a very strong uh, presence in the center of China. So that's definitely helping with uh, keeping people from declaring war on us, that's for sure. Nice. And then, yeah, I'm still not really sure what to do with uh, Similiang himself. Oh, Jesus, I should get Battlefield Medicine. I can't believe I don't, I don't have that yet. Yeah, I need that 5% replenishment. We're still replenishing... For no reason here. Well, okay, it's just because of the two units we recruited. Never mind. Hmm. Yeah. It seems like it's probably going to be the uh, same as any other time I've used a spy, and I'm going to end up just forgetting about them, not doing anything. I suppose I don't really need this. I don't think this place is in much of a risk of being attacked. So we'll just flatten that. I won't spend the money to speed it up. And we'll upgrade this, get it one step closer to the actual industry bonuses. So yeah, in like... See, I think I should probably take this opportunity to just kill Sima Ying. Since we, we already have one prince that we're going to have to annex to win. Which, I mean, still won't be for a nice while yet, but... No, I think, I, uh, I think I'll annex basically... Or, I think I'll vassalize basically anybody else, but I'm just going to kill the great princes. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll reject that. We'll march Sima Liang down, and that's what our next war will be. Since we are going to get to the next level very soon. The Jin are gone to war. Oh. Interesting. Didn't I vassalize Ruan Shen? No, Fan Guan. That's what it was. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's march. To here. Oh! Excellent! Simadia expanded! Or did he always own that? I thought the Jin owned that or something. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so he's actually even stronger than I thought. Nice. I didn't notice that. Okay, so we can march to his lands, no problem. And then attack Baxi. And then I could just sell that to him. It's perfect. Oh, this is great. Okay, this will work out fine. So now we cross the river. And we'll attack that. Alright, everything's coming together quite nicely. So it's uh, a couple of turns and we'll be in substantial jurisdiction. Very nice. I suppose I could put someone as my chancellor. Forty. Fifty-four. So you're the most pissed off. It's going to be 200 for everybody. It's actually even more for certain people. This guy's just chilling here. But he's happy, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one you put on. It doesn't affect the... Yeah, it doesn't affect anything. So let's just make this guy happy, and we might as well fill out that spot so I stop getting the thing popping up. Oh, yeah, let's invoke the council. Settlement administration, sure. We'll get that at some point. Right, so we have this empty spot now. Yeah, we could really boost our income from industry. Like, yeah, we're going to start making some serious money here. Once literally, like, any of these buildings get decently upgraded. So 
So it's at level three. Okay. I could just get a 10% from all sources, which actually gets up pretty high. But maybe not. I could also just create a new judiciary. But no, I think we'll uh I think we'll go with labor and we'll just uh slowly work our way to it to upgrading it that is. There's no real Oh, that actually gives me 5 prestige. I mean, 5 prestige isn't huge, but it's better than nothing. Eh, it'd be nice to get it out of the way, I suppose. It's a lot of money. But it's one less thing. Uh, yeah, you're definitely not getting back in. Or getting in, rather. Simulun. My brother? Is Simulun the one that's my brother? I can't remember. Or is it Simayu? I think it's Lun. One of my vassals might take that. Oh, shit. My alliance, or my uh, coalition member attacked it. Sean, you, you bastard. Land grab. Without your command, one of your retainers is aggressively driving peasants from their lands. Yeah, okay. So we'll get some satisfaction. Okay, if I if I release those guys, this guy will be upset with me. We get some spirit. Ooh. People get mad, but more money from peasantry. I don't really care about that. But... Yeah, five spirit wouldn't really get us anywhere. Five mind, on the other hand, would get us closer to that. Um, so we'll make less money from peasantry, but we don't really care. Because that's not what we're making much money from anyway. Liu Qi got direct. Nice. We got a clay fish. Yeah, nice hat. Oh. You're not too bad, but I don't think I need you. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's continue marching. And continue marching. Yeah. We'll be able to attack that next turn if one of our vassals doesn't. Upgrade that. Oh, are we at the next level now? I think we are. 291. Unless it's gonna go over. I wish it would tell you! Like, what? which one are we at? Okay, no, jurisdiction, domain extent 8. Okay, so next turn we'll make it to there. Okay, I can see it now. Um, I mean, anybody else want to cooperate? No, Nassimilun, I don't care. Uh, Zhu Yan, yeah, he's the only one. Oh, but he actually is stronger than I thought. Oh, never mind. We we see a lot more territory out here now. And he won't even be that hard to vassalize. I'm not going to give you these. And I won't give you all my money. Wow, you are going to be super easy to vassalize. Nice. Oh, come on. Alright, we'll figure it. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I'll take another one. Holy cow. We're going to be even stronger. Okay, I didn't really pay attention to the fact that they were at war with the Jin. They easily could have rejected that. But that's fine. The Jin have... I don't think they start off with all this territory, do they? I think they're killing the princes up here. Oh, poor guys. Well, I guess when they don't have to deal with anybody down here, they uh, could easily kill these guys. That's true. Very nice. I like this. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I guess I should... Oh. I guess I should, um... Make sure I don't have anything with 
Sima Ying. I do not. So there's nothing to break. Cool. So we'll be able to freely just go to war with him. Excellent. Uh, he's already moved. You've already moved. Uh, so let's end the turn. Yeah, the Jin easily could have rejected that, but I guess uh, I guess I'm quite strong. Simichi, you are down here. Uh, yes, I will take your thousand gold. Wisdom met by wisdom, indeed. So yeah, we've definitely gotten over the initial uh, hard difficulty because. As you can see, we're not having much trouble now. Um, so yeah, I'll take this, and am I going to be able to sell it? Oh, I will be able to sell it to Mao Ren. Okay, good. We'll just delegate. So yeah, sorry that it's possible, unless I make it down to Sima Ying's land and he has an army somewhere, uh, there might not be a proper battle. That kind of sucks. Alright, we'll get out of that and then open diplomacy with Mao Ren, who I passed. Is his name Mao Ren? It is. Okay. And we'll give you the lumberyard. Um... How much money could I get from you? Sure. You're welcome. There we go. I wish I could. he could have gotten this as well, but maybe we can work on giving him that. Well, that's where we'll march to next. Oh, we're going to have to go through all of here. Okay. And Sima Liang... Not gonna take much longer to get down here. Oh, we have to cross a river. That's annoying. Oh, is there? Must be some sort of crossing here because it's not really affecting movement. It seems. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of money now. So I could upgrade. That would put my food down by four. That's kind of scary. Yeah, we could upgrade a few of our settlements. So Runan is my capital. So realistically, I, sh I should be leveling this up, but oh my goodness. Um, maybe we could put one more level into Chang'an, or Chang'an, and then next turn do some diplomacy to get more food. We'll have to. Or, well... Not next turn, I guess, but whenever we actually run out of food. But yeah, we do definitely want to get our cities leveled up to actually be competitive with everybody else. Just need to get our food from outside sources. Uh, Sima D... They just want to join the war and give me money? I'm sure. <laughs> There's basically no chance of them attacking this person, so... Or actually fighting them. But, yeah, I'll take your money. I thought they were asking me for payment at first. Cool. Sima Lun joined the coalition of Sima Yu. Cool. Oh, me and my son are oath sworn. That's nice. Alright. Still gonna take a nice while to get there. But we will make it. Oh my goodness, look at all the blue everywhere. Oh, that's because he owns all of this territory. Man, do you own all of this from Fu Ling? Damn, that's a lot of land. Alright, continue marching to there. 
I suppose I could even force march to get there slightly faster. And then the only thing we can do is upgrade cities? Yep. Don't really want to do that. I don't want to cripple myself by having no food. So I could import some in. But... I was going to say I could I could wait, but there is no real point to wait. Realistically, Shang Yang, I shouldn't... I shouldn't keep. But we have to annex... Sim away eventually. So how much territory does he actually own? Three? Like three uh, settlements? I think so. Okay. I could give this to him. Oh, this is making me the food I do have though, so never mind, never mind. He's not getting it. Um, I mean I could upgrade Zhang Yang and get another bonus to industry building in here. I suppose. Yeah, let's do it. And then in a couple of turns I'll uh ask for food from people. I mean, it's going to be 50-50 regardless. Even if I agreed. Do, 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 do. That's a lot of green in the, um, in the intern, uh, faction bar. I like that. No events. Or no pop-ups. Wow. I can't believe how long it's going to take to get there. Yeah, we'll take that and give it to Mao Ren. Uh, let me guess. Settlements? Yep, that's the only thing. So yeah, not a lot to do on these, uh, on these fast turns. We're just flying through them. Oh, we could actually get trade with someone. By Jin. Yes, I'll trade with my wonderful vassal. I won't even ask for money for- oh, I- No, never mind. I was gonna say I could have asked for food, but he only has one. Uh, how hard would it be to vassalize K Chang? Or Chang? Not too difficult. We can make a big old payment. He has a lot of money though, so I guess he probably wouldn't care very much, but... Eh, 8.2, that's not that bad. Um, I'll make some regular payments as well. That's no big deal. Oh, easy. And, uh, give us some food too while you're at it. What the? Okay, there we go. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, I'll take another vassal. Um, and then Ruan Shen is also a maybe. And he does own quite a bit of territory. From here to here, I would Im imagine, at least, since, you know, he owns here and here. How hard would it be to vassalize him? Not difficult at all. Oh yeah, I'll give you the clay fish, sure. I'm definitely not giving you food. Oh yeah, it wasn't hard to vassalize him at all. Oh my. Very nice. Yeah, whatever, that's, cool. that's good enough. Nice, another one! We're just... We're vassalizing everybody. Very nice. And yeah, that's another person that won't be allied to Sima Ying. Cool, and then Sima Ying will actually just kill on our own. Well, 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 that is perfect. Let's end another turn. 
making a lot of money just from owning people. Uh, request to join coalition. Of course not. I'm not gonna let you join right before I fight you. I'm really glad that one other person didn't want that. Because if all three of them agreed, I would have been very upset. That I was being screwed over like that. Makes sense, though. If that did happen. Uh, dude just randomly declared war on the Jin Empire. Okay. Good luck with that. Alright, we'll be able to attack next turn. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. Really? I just realized I don't have... A full, uh... 20 stack, whoops. Well, not 20, I guess. It'd be... 21, since it's 18 and 3 characters, but... Ooh. Well, well, well. He's just standing there. That guy sucks. That cowardly, greedy dummy. Now that's nice. Ooh, that is very nice. I'm getting this man. I want that man. That was this guy? Yeah, we will be recruiting him. He seems like a really good, uh, a really good champion. And speaking of recruiting him, I mean, we could also raise a new army if we really wanted to. Which probably wouldn't be a bad idea since everybody's down south right now. Um, so let's get, let's just get him, uh, chillin'. And let's get him the stuff that we're gonna get him. Yeah, how about instead of that, you wear this, so all of your stats go up, basically. At 177, 708. Well, I think I have a better, a better weapon for you, my friend. A much better weapon. Cool. Okay. And then, yeah, we will get rid of those G. And get you that. Good. We also finished our reform, so we have even more uh, stuff. But now I need to get some industry buildings, because all of our industry is capped. Which we don't want. Because obviously we want to make as much money as possible. Alright, end another turn. Uh, you want to go to war with Sima Yan? Who is that? Is this someone like far out of, out of the way again? I can't even see him, so I'm going to have to say no. You're also not offering me anything, so... I have no real need to go to war with someone I can't see, especially if I'm not getting paid for it. Right. Cool. Alright, we're at our negative food. Oh, another land grab. Well, you little bastard. Uh, we'll do this again. <laughs> so, yeah. That is a bit much. That's a... Oh. Well, this part is very, uh... Attritioned. And it's not really that good of an army. There's a lot of G. I could attempt to ambush. And declare war on him. Well, declare war regardless. And we'll, uh... 
call our vassals to war. And yeah, I'll ambush and see if uh, that'll work. Does it tell you how, how much of a chance you have? You would think so. Oh yes, ambush chance, 60%. Okay, that's not that good, but... Oh, but if I move to... I don't think I would have enough movement. What do you need, half? Oh, 25%. Okay, yeah, that works. So now we have a much better chance. Uh, but he might not even walk past us, so we don't know. We'll see anyway. Alright, Chang'an finished, so let's get, um, oh, I could just get this for straight up more. And that would make us a lot more money. This kind of just needs to go. Oh, commerce is what is actually making us a nice bit. It's just from that building. Okay, never mind then. Industry is what needs to be worked on, so yes, we'll get this. Ah, uh, I was mistaken. Uh, Simulon's the only one that is willing to negotiate now, or even maybe negotiate. Uh, let's get some food from someone. Give me four food. For that straight up payment? Sure. Nice. Invoke the council again? Another settlement administration, so we'll finish that off as well. Oh, I got ascetic. Ascetic. Nice. Alright, anyway. Uh, yeah, let's see if this bastard comes out and... Oh. Let's see if this bastard hopefully comes out and fight us, fights us. We'll take that real quick. Would have been nice if I was able to sell that in one turn. That was a mistake. Oh god, there's so much happening. Uh, no. Yes! We did it. And of course we'll make it a night battle. Alright, so guys, um, because there was no battle, I will play it this one, even though we're at 50-something minutes. We do have a lot less, but once we get into co like, we'll be able to get into combat pretty quickly. Yeah, let's do it. could also duel this guy and then they'll have no actual like damaging general it's just these two strategists strategists but yeah what I can do is instead of actually uh, charging into them because I don't have an army uh, built for that I can actually uh, set up at their exit point and just make them run into me use my trebuchets my archers and crossbows but the cavalry will keep on the sides Speaking of cavalry, they have just the, well, two units technically, but the one melee unit and then these uh, range, which are actually good in combat as well, now that I think about it. But we should be fine. Uh, oh, is there not an escape point for them? Oh, wow, okay. They also have, like, no range, I realize, now. They only have, like, these three units. Oh. No, I, never mind, I just can't see all of them, because I can't see the third strategist, so there's probably more here as well. Shit, well, yeah, they don't have a an exit point, but I suppose I can still... Hmm. What I think I could do... I could definitely kill some of their uh, archers pretty quickly. He's a medium threat. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to... Uh, I could, I could just force them to attack me or something. Like, set up a position like this.
and then just like try to slaughter them through here. The trebuchets won't be very useful. Everything's also hidden. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, let's get in a duel. Uh, why aren't you... Why aren't you guys firing? Oh, actually, yeah, shoot them, of course. What am I doing? Nice! Oh, I didn't move these! Haha! <laughs> Whoopsies. Big mistake. Okay, yeah, never mind. This is going to be a absolute squash. Because, yeah, night battles, so their morale is just going to be garbage. Okay, I, I don't care about chasing after them. We can get just get these guys to shoot. I need these cavalry elsewhere. Ah! That was an accident. Yeah, so I couldn't I couldn't see the rest of their army there. That's no good. Right. They made it, they did manage to get out of combat without even like even close to being killed, so that's good. Oh hello, cataphracts, so you're just chilling here. Whoopsies. That was an accident. Alright. Okay, they're killing them. This unit was just left there. Whoops. Big mistake. Apologies. That unit's still just chilling because my unit stopped shooting at them. Oh, these archers just ran out here. Whoops. I didn't notice you. That was a big route. So yeah, definitely uh, not the smoothest battle in the world. Definitely not the smoothest. Uh, can I make them just drop this? Oh, I could just tell them to withdraw. Yeah, get out of there. Or are they not? Okay. Drop and run. Run, boys. Oh, hello. Get in combat. Yeah, their whole army is just all over the place. This guy just doesn't want to die. Alright, chase after them. You chase after them. Cool. You chase after them. We'll win this duel eventually. Go ahead and kill him real quick, that'd be cool. 
And yeah, if we could take out Sima Ying, that would be nice as well. But other than this duel, I think the battle's over, right? Yeah, pretty much. Cool, we killed him. And he will die soon as well. Sweet. Yeah, the duel's still happening. Good lord. But yeah, I don't think there's... Oh, that's a decent sized unit. But yeah, other than that, yeah, we crushed basically everybody. Cool. And yeah, Sima... No, he's still alive. Oh, shit. You must get him. Please, strategist. Strategists and archers, you can do it. Yeah, oh no, he made it away, I think. Oh, you bastard, he escaped. He just barely escaped from our ambush. That was very quick. Yeah, we barely lost anybody. Very nice. Yeah, his army uh, comp was laughable at best. I just realized that... Oh, he did have four... Four archer units overall, okay. But yeah, that is bad, 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 bad. The AI need to uh, make better armies, that's for sure. I know it was an ambush, but... Yeah, he lost, like, almost everybody. Oh, Jesus, all these guys are legendary. Um... Yeah, I'll t Ooh! Special armor. I'll take that. And I that's a nice bit of money, but I'll also take the replenishment. Nice! So we did manage to crush his army. So now we'll be able to take that town absolutely no problem on this turn. And that's a that's a definitely a good start to the war between us and Sima Ying. Oh no, there was a second army there actually. There we go, that lady's dead finish that oh we were completely upside down that's weird so yeah there was actually a second army so I was uh... oh it's very small though so never mind we could easily we could easily kill that um, so let's take her out with a night battle man so many legendaries or at least people with Ooh, is this his wife I'll just release. Take more replenishment. And then we attack the town. And we can also night battle that so that he's not involved and he takes attrition, you know. Or not attrition, but he doesn't uh, get replenished. As opposed to losing a bunch of our guys now. Fighting or finishing off his force. Because we probably would have lost a thousand and something if we fought both, I think. So now instead. He's just chilling here. I guess I could have just killed him off. That actually would have been smarter. But now, you know, all he'll do is run away. It's fine. I'd rather him keep this army anyway. <laughs> with how bad the uh, um, ch -ch 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 composition is than to create a new one that might actually be good. See, I definitely don't care about Final Rush. I also don't really care about that, so... The only logical thing is to go this way. Give him a family spear for that extra instinct and uh, expertise, why not? Yeah, we'll let you keep that. Alright, cool. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. As always, and if you're enjoying this series, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be plenty more coming in the next few days. Um, we're, before we close this off, I will uh, sell this to Mao Ren. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will 
see you in the next one as soon as I get some money from this guy. That is making us food, but I'd rather just go to him. Because we're going to be taking land here. Ah, whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.